the Blue Beetle trailer just dropped. Is it good, though? Has DC cooked up something awesome for us? We're going to find out. I haven't watched the trailer yet. I'm just going to watch with you guys and react to it. Also, yes, my background does look different. Bear with me. I am a mess right now. I've been doing lawn work all day, yard work, all kinds of stuff. And yeah, just we're just going to get to the video. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna get to the video first things first all right so uh this is the trailer i'm gonna keep it small screen and with the volume where you guys can't hear it that well you can watch the actual trailer yourselves i have to do it this way otherwise those freaking copyright stuff claims all that kind of stuff it's ridiculous at what they'll hit hit you with over nothing so anyway Without further ado, let's see what I think about this. <laughs> okay, so Marvel Marvel esque humor already. Hold on, let me make sure this. Yeah, it's not picking up much sound for you guys. All right, let me try to. I'm gonna try to turn it up just a little bit. <laughs> um, let's hope no copyright claims everything i have so proud of it you always land on your feet bro you know how you know they don't get out much i just want to rap jenny cool looking elevator man this is this music it's scaring me <laughs> forget this copyright stuff don't open it okay big belly burger Well, she said, don't open it. Okay, so there it is. The blue beetle thing. I think you're going to get to do that. I think you like this. This is giving, I don't know, Disney Channel original a little bit so far. Not going to lie. That's kind of cool, though. Uh, oh my gosh, this background music scaring the crap out of me. This does look pretty neat. That part. I like the costume. Whoa. Okay, that looks neat. Can you imagine the, like, serenity? That looks cool. This looks cool, this part. Oh. <laughs> uh. Wow, dude. Okay. All right, it's <laughs> Oh, that's like a buster sword. <laughs> Batman's a fascist. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I've got a, I've got some mixed feelings on this. I do think that some things look pretty cool. That Batman's fascist line just really t checked me out entirely almost. This is the thing about what this movie is doing. Now regarding actual lore, all this kind of stuff, accuracy, dude, I don't know anything about Blue Beetle. So this is just me being a normie. All right. So just from a normie perspective, what I like to see with these type of movies and things like that, this is something that maybe I would watch at home. Um, but I'm not going to go. I wouldn't go to a, like a theater for something like this. Uh, 
the, the problem for me, like when I see these superhero type stuff, I don't like it when you get a bunch of normies involved in it. You know what I mean? And what? It, and like I said, I don't know anything about the actual lore of this. So maybe this is just accurate and I just... It's just not for me. But whenever you have somebody who becomes a superhero, all that kind of stuff. And I think this is one reason why a lot of superhero properties in general with comics and all that kind of stuff is I think one reason why they kind of take away the distractions from the character like family. Uh, they'll usually have like, okay, this is an orphan or, uh, you know, so some sort of family or their families you know, the bad guy will take out, like, Uncle Ben. So, well, you know what I mean? Something like that. And I the, I think the reason why I, they do that kind of stuff a lot is because it does help be a little more immersive. Because when you have something like, okay, here's this Blue Beetle costume, all this cool superhero type stuff. And then you keep centering the family life a lot with it. It's jarring. It feels like, okay, here is a really cool superhero in just a normal type too much normalcy around it now while there are obviously bad guys and things like that I think like the appeal for me with these kind of things is something like Batman for example you've got Gotham City okay this is a whole uh, this is a whole city this is a whole it keeps you immersed like the, when I'm watching a Batman movie reading a comic whatever it may be I feel a lot more into it because it feels like its own universe and its own world. And I like that when it comes to superhero type stuff. But whenever you have a superhero and their family's tagging along, it just feels like, you know, when you're a kid and your little sibling, you know, or your friend's little sibling that isn't quite old enough to just hang out and be cool and they're kind of cramping your vibe. That's what it feels like. Whenever superhero movies involve so many normally characters, this is one reason why I didn't like uh, the newer Spider-Man stuff as much uh, as I would have hoped. Because there were, it's too, when you got like MJ and you have the friend, that, that kid, that techie kid, I forget his name. When you got them just constantly being involved in part of it, they just feel too normy, and it's too normy mixed with superhero. And I just, it, I don't like that. I don't like that element of it. And the thing is, though, is I know a lot of people, especially fans of, like, the new Spider-Man, they're going to argue and they're going to say, hey, well, MJ and the friend, the techie friend, they still played a role in the story, so they technically weren't super normie because they knew what was going on, which is true. But the way that the characters were, oh, they're still pretty normie. I don't know. Like, they just seem like normies who were trying to keep up, but they couldn't quite, you know, if that makes sense, it's just different. It's different to me. Now, you can kind of balance that in a way. Think of like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy, right? You still had some normie moments, uh, you know, you had MJ and General Mary Jane uh, and all that, but but beyond that, you got to see sometimes Peter, you, you saw, it was like the dichotomy of, okay, here you have like Peter in his normal real life, just trying to be a real life person. And then you have his superhero side. Um, but it, it very much didn't, it didn't feel like that whole, okay, here's this tag along normie characters that are just boring, right? And MJ had the purpose of, okay, he needed to rescue her or, you know, his enemies wanted to take her out. She played a huge pivotal role in that for that reason. And not only that, this is probably also going to get some backlash. This kind of comment is, but MJ's role too also was for, hey, this is the love interest of Spider-Man. That was her role. So it, the damsel in distress role can work. And that was her role in these movies, pretty much. <laughs> you know, while they did make her independent in a way and all that kind of stuff that was her role and she fit it fine she fit it great she wasn't interrupting things for the most part even though there were a lot of people who didn't like her and all that but also she was beautiful they made her they styled her super well and she was just nice to look at and she played that was a good role for her she was entertaining and she served her purpose in that story for that reason but when you're just looking at normie friends who were drabbed down they're not like 
it was different. It's not the same. And then you have like, uh, you know, his friend Harry, all that. But he also, with him also being involved, right? With him also being a, a, an integral part of the story and being a part of that like superhero type universe. Because I mean, he was very smart. He was like a genius. And even just beyond that, I mean, again, talking about the eye candy element, he also served that role in the character. Like MJ and him both serve that role. Okay, they're nice to look at. They, that separates them. So, uh, I, don't, I know if they hate, hate all you want on what I'm saying here, but this is another reason why when I see characters that are transformed and turned into more normie type stuff, like think of April O'Neil and her, how they changed her appearance and didn't make her, you know, that uh, super attractive character, you know, which of course race is irrelevant in this point. I know people are going to be like, oh, you think that black people get blah, 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 blah. Obviously, you could have made her a hot black woman. If he, why if she had to be black, right? But anyway, that's beside the point is I think that's one reason why people do enjoy looking at the characters as, as being attractive because they're usually drawn that way in comics, except not so much these days as much. But that's part of what breaks or that part of what keeps the immersion because when you have characters that are very, very, very normie, right? I'm not saying every character needs to be a 10 out of 10 supermodel looking person, but that is part of what makes it immersive because when you're looking at people who are more attractive than your average person, then in a story where it's a superhero universe, okay, where, okay, this is, this is bigger than what real life is it helps you stay immersed in it because when you have a superhero universe and then you have characters who are you know five and under fives and under in terms of the, on the attractiveness scale conventional attractiveness scale it doesn't match the same it doesn't this feels like it doesn't feel like that. It's too much too much normy stuff going on for me like oh here's the family and all of a sudden uh, you know, it, oh, look, family is also right, driving this big Beetleborg machine with us. Oh, neat. Like, I, that cramps the style so freaking much to me. The whole Batman is a fascist line is retarded, but that's not gonna, that's not nearly as off-putting to me as, oh, look, here, the whole family's evolved. Whoa, neat. Yeah, wow. And then it's just, it just, I just like the superhero element to feel super. And... If you're going to have a character who I, I like it better when the character is like, you know, keeps their identity, their superior identity secret from their family or from the normie people. I just like that better. <laughs> so, again, I don't know what the lore is for this. It could be extremely accurate, but it's just not for me because this just feels more like Disney Channel original. Like, oh, the superhero family type thing. And I don't know. I just don't. I want to feel like I'm in this actual universe, right? I want to feel like this is a, a, a super universe in a way. And it's just hard to feel like that with this type of thing. I don't know. That's my take on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I don't know what else to say. Uh, it probably sounds stupid. Like, really? That's... But that's enough to kill it for me. It is enough where it's just like, okay, I don't care how endearing the family is, all that kind of stuff. When I'm watching s superhero things, I want to feel involved and I want to feel immersed in like the whole universe of it. I think the balance with a lot of superhero movies or comics and all that is, is all about that balance between, okay, here's the character's real life, uh, regular normie real life, and then you have the character's superhero life and just trying to balance the two and make it seem kind of believable but immersive at the same time and this almost feels like it's too much IRL with a little bit of superhero put in there rather than okay this is like the superhero universe and then okay we're gonna have some normie stuff I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. Take that as you will. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I have been so freaking busy, you guys. I know I haven't been uploading nearly as much as usual. But again, just a reminder, I've been so busy and I got a lot of stuff going on. And as you can see, I took all this apart. That took forever. <laughs> um, but most of like the a lot of the hard stuff's done. 
I'll be, I'll still be making videos and stuff. Not every day as used to, but Hey, just bear with me a little bit longer, you guys. Uh, and then the regular more uploads will be coming very soon. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I will catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom. I won't obey.